Hi, my name is Cherie Shockley and I have LADA, latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. I was diagnosed in 2004 at the age of 23 with diabetes. Little did I know anything about type 1 or type 2, but I really had no clue of what LADA was. I went to the endocrinologist um, and he ran a lot of tests on me and he confirmed his suspicion of me having LADA. Um, at that point we talked about treatments, uh, we talked about insulin, and we also spoke about oral medication. Um, for, for my first three years of living with diabetes, I decided that I would go on oral medication. Actually, it was the first four years because I went from oral medication to insulin dependent in 2008. Um, my story is a blessing because I actually had a healthcare professional who knew she couldn't diagnose me so she sent me to the endocrinologist and the endocrinologist that I saw um, understood what LADA was, recognized it, and diagnosed me uh, properly. Um, there are over 10% of type 2 diabetes who aren't that lucky to have an endocrinologist or a doctor, um, nurse practitioner or a doctor say, hey, something's not right, what's going on? Sometimes being patient, you have to probe your doctor, you have to use the internet as your tool find out what's going on if you do not have a family history of diabetes and the oral medication that was once working for you isn't working for you now I would seriously recommend talking to your physician and asking to dig a little further um, because it does make a difference to know that one day your pancreas is going to stop so um, stop working for you um, so please make sure you get test not tested because they're technically speaking really isn't um, a test strictly geared for LADA um, one of the t two of the tests that I had done and I still continue to get done about once a year is a C peptide and a GAD 65 test um, the C peptide measures you know what my pancreas is if what my pancreas is if it's working or if it's not working or um, and the GAD 65 is more uh, of an antibody test so um, I would recommend you to know yourself know your body you know yourself and you know your body better than any healthcare professional if something's not right call the doctor call the doctor call the doctor until you get the answer, until you're comfortable with the answer.